conference. Hallelujah, title awaken the bride. Hallelujah for the year. Was he the year of the year? That throw is the sound we are here. Hallelujah, be still for the year. That throw is a real year. Hallelujah, of the opdracht van ons maker. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I give a more erkenning aan my pastor, Pastor Dion Ellison. Hallelujah, and as mother of the house, Pastor Jolene Ellison, hallelujah. That acknowledge the leadership of the Nemec as ministries. Hallelujah, on trio, on elke broer, elke sister for us. And for you, I come from our house, Gasse. Hallelujah, our gereelde Gasse. Our first time visitors, hallelujah. He is born in a group. And that he will win us now for our school in Jesus. Hallelujah for Jesus. Our prophet is Rihanna for us. Our prophet is Mia, hallelujah. And our sisters, hallelujah, our sisters. And from the very end, come the rain from the coast of us. On the year to come to you. Praise the name of the year. Wow, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us worship in the front. Voor ik het als ogen als maag van die huis geleerd het gee, om jylle te verwelkom, halleluja. Ons was so graag allemaal met eers vir die regisse, so dat ons niemand kan uitlaat vir ogen, om vir jylle te verwelkom, halleluja. Maar ek vraag die hoosjep die ons nog steeds vir ogen te bles, man. Ons het een rede vir morgen te sê, my vriend. Ons het een rede om die Heere te loop vir morgen, om ons te kom prijs, halleluja. Bless it be the name of the Lord. We should be blessed with the praise song. And we should be blessed with the praise song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for Jesus. He must sit. And the ice on the year. That is for my year. And the four. A four. Eight. Genade. Of a more. Yeah. Can do. Can do. Good. And the layers. Cap. And all the positions. Is. Lively. Good. For more. All our sisters. Our fathers. Our mothers. Young people, our kinderkies, is lively begroet. Hallelujah for Jesus. I just want to hear on the welcome him to do, and I want to take in the song. Me and me. Hallelujah for Jesus. I want for more of our sisters from Kozbak. I want for more of you here. Let our friends stand as a belief. So that they can be worthy of the year. When we don't come see him, but he is worthy of him. And also for you that is from water. And we don't see him worthy of his own. And thank you, Lord, that he is so fair to bring it. And for us to come and see him, come see him as he is worthy of him. And as can the year, come as he is the year of the year. When it is that he was in the room, you can skip. So to forget the year of the year of the year. Ons is een mooie plek in ons midden in. En ons weet die geniet het hier. Halleluja, Jesus. Je mag sit. United Shepherd Ministry kan hier asjeblief staan. Unity Shepherd Ministry. As die hier is. Pangser in Christus. Pangser in Christus. Jubilee Ministry. Rebo. Halleluja, Halleluja. Reborn, and I say, Dear Hallelujah for Jesus. Hallelujah for Jesus. Scepter of Jesus. Scepter of Jesus. Scepter of Hallelujah for Jesus. Hallelujah for Jesus. One Life Family Church. Hallelujah for Jesus. Church of Christ Mission. For the year, Hallelujah for Jesus. Hallelujah for Jesus. For all of the reformed church, can you say it please? Hallelujah for Jesus. New Testament. Hallelujah for Jesus. Lutheran Church. Hallelujah for Jesus. Hallelujah. Is that enough for you, Becca? For you, Becca. Ja, maar toch. Wat ons die eerlijk is, is dat is dat van die wat nog nie genoem was. Ons wil graag heen moet staan. Ons braaf is staan, ons wil nie. Ons hier, ons hier die jyre. Halleluja vir Jesus! Halleluja vir Jesus! Halleluja vir Jesus! Halleluja, halleluja! Woe, jyre, ons wil hier! Dierig is woordigheid. En ons kan die Heer op ons dankie sê nie. Jy moet het geniet en het is woordigheid van die Heer. Die Heer wil vir woord iemand herstel. En weet nie wie daar die iemand is nie. Maar het sal afhang van hoe jy die Heer ontvang vir woord. Het sal van jy vir woord afhang. En hoe het jy my ontvang vir woord. Maak jy ook vir die geest van die Heer. Hy wil iemand verras vir woord in die plek in. En ek weet nie wie daar die iemand, maar ek is vanmorgen die eerste iemand, waar my geest is so excited, dat moet ek aan op een stuur staan, en die jyre hier, halleluja! Jesus! En ek wil haal om in my kaas op vir die jyre! Jy moet hier my saal vir Jesus! Halleluja! Sê baie dankie vir ma, vir die hoog en pal vir my welkom en halleluja! Ek kan het nie geloo nie. Ek kan het nie geloo nie. As die enige is wat in ons show of is het ek nie. Kan jy so blie staan as een profetees en as jy vir gelis? Kom ons staan, kom ons staan! Kom ons staan as ek nie! Thank you. 
Bahaya bangkit Haleluya Haleluya Praise in our family Yelah full Jesus my ma Yelah full Jesus my ma Yelah care plan Heart look for him Haleluya Yelah full Women in my heart Haleluya I'm my sin man Praise in our family Yelah Haleluya for Jesus En ons ook in die geleentheid gee aan sy solutionerie. Halleluja, om net vir ons die visie en die visie van ons bediening aan die voorte, halleluja. Want die hele weet wie ons is. Met wat is ons weese? Waar doe ons ons op pad? Halleluja!
die Heer Sonnig voor elke gast vanmorgen, eer, eer is lieflik begon, halleluja. Ek is vanmorgen die om die announcements van ons kerk te doen. Um,
Heerlijk. We gaan nu over in de boodschap. Uh, dit komt vanmorgen uit Lucas 21. Bij je uh, welbekende scripture. Uh, die opschrift is uh, die klein gaves van die arm die de beer. Jezus heeft rondgekeken. En die rijke zijn gaves en die overgaves zien groeien. Hij ziet toe ook een arm die de beer. Twee klein mensen is daar een groei. En hij zei: Dat verzeker ik jullie. Hier die arme bieren weer. Het meer aan gegooid dan al die anderen. Hij heeft allemaal iets uit de oorvloed en die opgave is gegooid. Maar zij heeft in haar gebrek alles aan gegooid. Wat ze gehad heeft om van te leven. Halleluja. Um, vanmorgen wil ik weer eens. Iemand reminder te sê, vertrouw die Heere in die finansies. En hy sal sy sieninge oor die uitstoor. Halleluja. Maak hom oor een goed deel van die finansies. En hoe maak een mens hom oor een goed deel van ons, van ons finansies? Dis om God te vertrouw. Halleluja. Met halleluja om getrouw die tiendes te gee aan die koninkrijk van God. Om getrouw die offerings te gee in Godse Koninkrijk. En dan doe je in Malachi 3 vers 8 sê God, hy sal die keer kom beroof van die tienders en die offers. En dier dit brengt ons een vloek, en dan doe je oor ons self. Dan sê in vers 10, breng die volle tiende na die skatkes toe. En om die tiende deel en die offerings te gee, is ook een kingdom principle. En dan doe je, dit is een spiritual act. En dan doe je, Alleluia, dan weet vanmorgen, dat is nie makkelijk om offerings om ons tiendes te gee nie. Dit is nie makkelijk om te sacrifice nie. Alleluia, maar God wil vanmorgen hee ons moet om vertrouw nie nie met die man. Alleluia, ons leer vanmorgen moet as 21. Dat hier die arme weer het weer dat die last is gegee, alleluia. En ek dink vanmorgen kan ek so relief met dit, alleluia. Ek wil vir julle net so klein testimony vertel, alleluia. En ek dink twee of drie doen dat terug. Leer die maar by my toente rand. Ek sê vir my maar, wie is my laaste toente rand? Amen, amen. As ons in my laaste toente rand. En sy sê vir my self, my regeel teruggeen. Loop al, hier sê my hier voor die keer begin, gee my maar vir my regeel toen ek sê kom so my achter sak en dan kom my die toente rand keer toe. En paaste kom my die offerings gedeeld. En die hele gegeen sê, die klik vir my gaan offer die toente rand. En ek word begin, ek word so spuit, ek wil aai, hoe kom ek nie maar die toente rand, maar net in die kast in gesit. Hoe kom ons die maan nog vir my voor die keer om die toente gaan te geer? Die Heere Beren, dit is my laaste toente gaan, halleluja. En die Heilige Geest sê vir my, gaan geer die toente gaan. Halleluja, en ek dink, ouwe Heere, jy weet dat dit is my laaste toente gaan. En wat ek vir die Heere sê, sê Heere, om wat jy weet, geer ek die toente gaan vir my. En ek vertrouw jy met die toente gaan, halleluja. Ek vertrouw dat jy het hier gaan oopmaak, halleluja, wat jy weet, dit is die laaste toente gaan. Bring die toente gaan, jy soos iemand wat jy wil, met die smaai, kom sê te kom, halleluja. En dan vrijdag, precies vrijdag. En dan gaan ek door, en dan kom ek terug in die maas, en dan kom ek jong, mama moet vir ons geld gee, maar gaan jy goeie oorkant toe. En dan het vir my oma tegen gesê, en dan kom ek geld gee, maar gaan jy goeie oorkant toe. En dan gaan ek die tijd toe die toente gaan kom offer. Was daar nie al hoop van, jy miskien sal dinges maak of my kom gee, so ek kan my toente gaan gee, en hier, daar was jy aan een hoop gewees, behalve Jesus, halleluja. En ek gaan oorkant toe, my oma sê vir my jong, wie is die maase geel, en dan wil ek jy die moet geel gaan trek vir jy, to sê ek vir jy maar, ok, my oma, vat die geel, die sê ek oor in my bank rekenen, halleluja. Ek wil nie vir jy dat sê, hoeveel kan dat nie, maar dat is die klok 20 rand, halleluja. Ek wil die klok 20 rand, ek is nog geel, en pas is aan wie, hoeveel klok 20 rand, dat is, halleluja. En dan wil ek vir moor, halleluja, wil ek iemand bemoed af hier te sê, plaas die vertrouwe in die Heere. Wil nie bring vanmorgen die laaste. En vertrouw die Heere vir die deur te raak. Halleluja. En ek besef vanmorgen, halleluja, dat omdat ons God nie volkome vertrouw, halleluja, dat ons ons het altijd excuse, halleluja, om ons ding te deel en so offerings te bring aan die Heere. Maar om die Heere vanmorgen ons hart te ken, ons omstandig Heere ken, halleluja. 
says that the elders they cast their crown before the king of glory and the crew are up and the crew are up and in worship they are casting in the middle of this cast it is violently throwing their crown and falling before the master and saying holy holy you are splendid you are beautiful there is none like you my crew are not yet far enough but he has brought a heart that can give you freedom he has brought that he has brought that
Jesus. In my presence, in his presence, let him be the highest order in this house. Because he alone is one. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. perspektief vandag in hierdie boek gaan anders wees as wat ons gewoond is hierdie boek word present. Want die Heere is bezig met die bereid van Christus. Halleluja. Ek wil nie julle groet in Jesus naam. I want to greet the leadership of this church. And I want to say thank you for the honor. Thank you for honoring the Lord in what you are doing. And giving me this platform. I do not take it lightly. And it's a blessing again to have my mother with us. I want to honor her. Thank you for being here. God bless you. And I want to honor my husband and my children. Thank you for allowing me to do the work of God. Thank you for understanding that God has called me. And thank you for releasing me. In Jesus' name. We are going to look at the book of Ruth through the eyes of a bride. I feel it is a bride. I want you to look through the eyes of a becoming bride. Those of you who are engaged, you are not in the jungle. Dit was net oor vir die man. Jy kan nie wacht vir die dag wat jy vir die kant vir ons staan. En those of you who have been there, remember how it felt when you were awaiting the day. Ondou wat moes jy neergeled het om net met die een man vir die kant sal te staan. And I know maybe it's going to be difficult for men to envision them as a bride. But hierdie is nie a male of a female dummy. It's not a male and female thing. Because you are a lover of Jesus. And if you love Jesus, imagine yourself only with him and no one else. You look at the interesting thing from Ruth is is that Ruth het van nergens afgekom nie. En Ruth's story is ingeskryf. Hier is van ons wat van niks families is nie. Jou familie het nie a prominent name. Jou familie het nie a prominent legacy. Wat ons allemaal weet, wie is jy hoor van die familie? Hulle is die dit en hulle is die dat en hulle is die doorie en hulle is die wat alles wat dat is nie. Jy kom nie van die familie af nie. Maar die jaren is bezig om vir jou in een story in te skryf wat verlossing kan bring in een droe land. Hier is een vrou met die naam van Ruth wat van nergens afgekom het nie. Sy is nie eerst een afstammeling 
van een van die drijfs van Israël nie. Sy kom van nergens af nie. En die Heere kom druk haar story in. Hier tussen die judges en die koningskappe is hier een oud klein boekie met die naam van Roek. Maar die klein boekie, kijk nie die klein boekie, die vrou, wat so van nergens afkom nie, as jylle Matthias gaan lees, go read Matthew 1, dan kijk jy, daar word net twee vrou in sy name genoem, that is part of the lineage of Jesus, the rest a myl, the rest a myl, maar as net twee vrou in sy name, wat daar verskyn, en een van hulle, as hier die vrou, met die naam van Rit, van nergens af nie, word sy ingeskryf tussen die boeken van judges, richters en konings. Een seisoen het tot die einde gekom. Een ander seisoen moet begin. En tussen hierdie twee seisoene kom druk die jyre een nieuwe ding in en haar naam is Rit. Haar naam is Rit. Ek gaan een bykie lees so bear with me. Bear with me. I'm reading from Judges 1. Ek hoop is mense wat Engels verstaan, maar kijk my TV in Engels in. Now it came to pass in the days when Judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. So terwyl die richters geroel het, die judges geroel het, het daar een hongersnoot gekom. Kijk, dan moet soms een droogte en een hongersnoot kom in ons leven, so dat Godse storyline tot vervulling kan kom op die nieuwe story wat hy wil skryf, dat hy om kan skryf. Betek hier moet hy jou vat en hy moet jou droog maak, so dat jy kan recognize that God wants to do a new thing in your life. So a famine came and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab and he and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Emilek. The name of his wife was Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malin and Chilion. Ek weet nie, sê ek het recht nie. Ephraims of Bethlehem. Judah and Judah. They were there and there. Then Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died. And she was left and her two sons. Now they took wives, women of Moab. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other was Ruth. Kijk hoe werd die heren. Hy bring a feman. En hy stier hierdie groepie familie, stier hy uit na een land toe wat hulle nie ken nie. En in die land, as waar hierdie vrou sy story in plek kom, met die naam van Roos. And they dwelled about there, ten years. Ten years. They dwelled there. Then both Marlon and Chilion also died. So the woman survived her two sons and her husband. And then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in, her, in the country of Moab that the Lord has visited his people by giving them bread. For she has heard that the Lord had visited his people by giving them bread. Therefore, she went out from the place where she was and her two daughters-in-law with her and they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. 
And Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go return each to your mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find rest in each of your husband's house. So she kissed them and they lift up their voices and wept. And they said, Ek eerst klaar lees. So she kissed them and they lifted up their voices and wept. And they said to her, Surely we will return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Are there still sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Turn back, my daughters. Go, for I am too old to have husbands. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband tonight and should also bear sons, would you wait for them till they were grown? Would you restrain yourselves from having husbands? No, my daughters, for it grieves me very much for the sakes, for your sakes, that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. That they lifted up their voices and wept again. And all Baptist, her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. And she said, look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her gods. Return after her. But Ruth said, entreat me not to leave you or turn back from following after you. For, whatever, for wherever you go, I will go. And whatever, wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. And your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. And there, where, there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me. And more also, if anything but death parts you and me. And when she saw that she was determined to go with her, she stopped speaking. She stopped speaking. And it will ears the end. Hallelujah. And as I was reading through this, with the lens of a bride, one in love with Jesus, because can you so? Else can you the Bible that leaves or what leaves leaves us need? You must start reading the Bible as a person who is expected to see her bridegroom returning. That my sin, my who had no pride, would it disgust me? But I set myself in the schoon for the bride, but what for our bride? I come at Friday, yara. And I say for my Rihanna, look at Ruth. Look at the manner how she wandered and how she handled the door of Naomi. And I say for my, I give my revelation. I say Naomi represent Christus. Yes, Hallelujah. And for all I say, my man, for my, I say for my dear Jane, ter ek ek luister so wat jy sê oor Naomi. And I look and say for my Naomi is twofold. She's also representing the Holy Spirit. Yes, and it is profound because it is so. Hallelujah. And I will hear you this. God is showing us something in the preparation for the bride, for her bridegroom. As the bride, we must do whatever it takes to hold on to Jesus. To draw closer to Jesus. I have been having this prophetic invitation and awareness of a famine coming. <laughs> it is, here 
as a word by the, a prophetic word by the, by the Holy Spirit for me. And I've been telling my husband, I hear feminine, I hear feminine. And this feminine is going to be physical and it's going to be spiritual. And this is the first time I'm releasing this word. I've not released it before. There's a feminine coming. And I just thought of this famine. There will be a shortage of food. Spiritual food and physical food. And this famine will affect all of our lives. And as the bride, this famine is going to test our characters. Just as the character of Ruth was tested and the character of Orpah was tested, we will be tested. We went through COVID. COVID is nothing. COVID is nothing. We are going to see more sickness. We are going to see more death. Spiritual and physical. We're going to lose many things. But are we going to be roots in this hour? There's a changing happening. And that's why there's a call for the bride to awaken. There's a changing of season that is happening. And the bride must awaken. Because the bride cannot miss what God is doing. Because if the bride is focused on her circumstances, if Ruth was focused on losing her husband, if Ruth was focused, you, you, you guys know that and died down. The highest calling for a woman was to get married and have children. To bear, to be fruitful. Yes. And that's why, that's why I always said to them, Gaan ek dan weer kinders kan baar? Gaan jylle kan wacht vir hierdie kinders om te kom? The reason she put that out was to say that as nuts that is not what you what you are after and fit in your community. The desires that you have to become a mother. The desires that you have to become successful. The desires that you have. It can't be thy desires for phony. But the end-time church says, the end-time church responds like Ruth. The bride of Christ responds like Ruth because we won't be tested. We won't be tested. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we will not understand the hell we are going through. But even in that, God is trying to find a Ruth. Amongst us. Yes, we are. What Ruth had a groter 
started with a marriage in the beginning in Genesis. It started with a marriage. Then we see Jesus coming out into his ministry the first time. Where do we find him? At a marriage. We find him at a marriage coming out. He's telling us something. He said, but I was one.
in the flow of the Holy Spirit. People being anointed. And then we desire, oh, it's one of the obvious. But are you prepared to pay the price? Are you prepared to give a sacrifice that cost you something? Yes. David says, I am not prepared to sacrifice anything that to my king, my God, that will cost me nothing. Yes. Are you prepared to sacrifice? Ik heb het 
Joker. This child doesn't like violent movies. He doesn't even like to watch the Passion of the Christ. He's never watched it until the end. And God gives him a dream. And he often says for us, Mommy, the Yerra had me that the Christ died for Jesus to have fat. I get all of the sin. Mommy, that Christ was the brain. That Christ was the brain. Jesus had not blood in his life. God, no. Where you lead me, I will follow. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. To my money, 
Ik heb weten hoe hij zijn familie gaan zorgen. He fixed his eyes on Jesus. And when he fixed his eyes on Jesus, and I knew that this husband of mine is a plain one. This husband of mine years from God. I didn't question him once. Because I said, if you look to Jesus, who am I not to? I will look to him too. I will look to him too. And it's time. It's time that the bride awakens and that she only has eyes for Jesus. That she only has eyes for Jesus. Ruth represents the new covenant bride. When you read further in chapter 3, you see opportunity comes to her. Opportunity comes to her. But Ruth is so focused on Jesus being Naomi, representing Naomi, that she doesn't even see this opportunity. Kijk eens op, because my daughter ki kreeg gestrand the scripture and the scripture that she received in worship was where the enemy came to tempt Jesus in the wilderness where he said to Jesus he as in he as alles op a silver plate alles kan jou nou wees alles kan jou nou wees an opportunity came to him but she was so focused nie hy moet eers terug gaan en gaan hoor wat sê na jou nou I must first go and see what Jesus says about this thing. Jong meis is die mannetje wat nou gekom en wie hy is die soet op sy lippe nie is mors. Maar wat sê die jylle oor die sak? Is your eyes still on Jesus? En toe my hom nie terug gaan, ach nou nie terug gaan, En ons sien hier mooi duidelik, soos my man my verochend gesê, die prentje van die heilige gees, toe sy vir haar sê, gaan leer haar by die koningse voete. Gaan leer haar by die koningse voete. En sy, en, 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 roze respons is, whatever you say na jou nie, I will do. Sy het nie gesê, ok, nie, dat jy nie, ek moet maar sy voete vry vie. No. No. It was what Naomi said. If the Holy Spirit speaks, can you obey immediately? If the Holy Spirit speaks, will you add something to it? Or will you take something from it to please men? Or to please whoever? Or ga nie die dag doen net soos wat jy geïnstracht is om het te doen because God said it. God said it. And this is the bride. This is the bride. Her eyes and her gaze is too fixed on Jesus to care what anyone else says about her. Her ear is too on his heart and on his mouth to listen to whatever anyone else says. She's only listening to his voice. This is the bride. That is the blind. She knows who she is. But most importantly, she knows who she is. She knows to whom she belongs. She knows to whom she will be thrown to. And it is time that the blind make ready. Revelation 21 says, the blind makes ready. Maar kijk hier so, we cannot make ready if we are still asleep. Either in our comfort, our own desires, and familiarity. Ek weet, ek het groot geraak in die kerk. En ek ga nie die kerk los nie. Want my ma, my pa, my opa gooitje, my oma gooitje, so groot gooitje is nie, maar het is dood. Die lewe is nie daar nie. Familiarity. Because Ruth could have stayed in her tribe. 
She's familiar. She's familiar with where she comes from. Where she is going, she has no clue. They must know what I know and I can She chooses to cling to Jesus. I will go where you go. I will stay where you stay. I will do as you say. Amen. Because my perspective has changed. I am seeing myself as the bride of Christ. I am no longer my mother's daughter. I am no longer my husband's wife. I am no longer my children's mother. I am the bride of the soon and coming bride, groom, king. And he deserves all of me. He deserves all of me. Challenges will come. Men say, Sani, if we are here, what do we know? What it is to be swart, to cry, or to be swart, to cry. Jesus. We must. in to be the bride and I want to end off with this two years ago it was in COVID 2020 the Holy Spirit takes me into a dream and in this dream the Holy Spirit says to me Rihanna the angel of the Lord is ready and he's waiting in his bridal chamber. I didn't understand anything of that dream until I started to search the scriptures. Until I started to see the angel of the Lord is Christ. The bridal chamber is the place that he has prepared to take us. Because in the bridal chamber will happen the consummation of our marriage where we become one. And he wants to take us there. And I said, Lord, but if he's ready, why isn't he coming? And then God the Father said to me, because remember the Bible says, only the Father knows the coming of the Son. Not even the Son knows when he's coming. And it is true. And God the Father said to me, can I send my son? Did you see what the bride looks like? He cannot go to us. You will disappoint him. I cannot allow him to be disappointed. The bride has to make ready. The bridegroom is ready, but he cannot come. The father cannot allow it. You know how God's heart breaks when he looks at the church. He looks at the church. And the church is pulling one another. We are fighting with one another. We are destroying each other from the inside out. We have become a virus in our own bodies. We are attacking one another. We are suffocating one another. And the bridegroom is ready. He's already prepared the place where he wants to. It is ready. He wants to become one with us. He wants to come, come and receive us. But we are not ready. And it hurts the Father when He looks. Because what He sees, He cannot represent to His Son. The one who left everything. He became of no reputation. So that he can come and set us free. So that he can become. Sin, sickness and everything. On our behalf. But he is ready. He is ready. Forsake all lesser lovers. Every idol.
idol that have become greater than God in your life, it must be shattered. It must be broken. So your family, Anang, your kinas, your man, your ma, your pa, your kid, whatever your value, today is the day that you make a decision. You have to make a decision. Are you going to leave Moab behind and follow Jesus? Rabba shata taba sete. Loto domo dale kama shete. Zeta nda dada ba shala ba kura ba ne. Rulu kusha tala ba seta ne. Lema to kusha dala ba ne kaziano. Leka nda dada ba shere ne. Jokes about it. 
to still choose our lives over it. It was too great. It was too great. It was by a work from the verlede week. And that was Dr. Victor that had performed and men said had done. But here men said that I came. And the fraud for the other who come can jay it. Who come jay so stop stay. To say hey, can jay Jesus. And dear but tell for my son that I have no more deal with that it's done for the world. I can't even. I can't even dance with Dr. Victor. Wat ze gemorst het ons gemaakt van die Heere. Wat ze gemorst het ons gemaakt van die Heere. We cannot. Dit word gepraat van onze pastoor. Dit word gepraat van onze kerk. Want ons mors met die dingen van die Heere. Lord, I pray for the fear of God to grip the hearts of your people afresh. Some of us have become so dead in our compromise. Some of us have become so asleep in our compromise that when you hear the word of God, that false was water from your wrath. Want jy is gewoond om te moors met die dier bloed van die lam van God. Maar vandag roep die Heere vir roos. Hy is bereid om een niks een roos te maak. Hy is bereid om een roose story te skryf in die middel van nergens en sy kom gee geboorte and the root from Jesse. Thank you, Lord. Mian, come minister. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands. I stretch my hands. You know each and every one standing before me. You know what they are in need of. You know what the cry and the desire of their hearts are this morning. Are you calling them deeper? Are they laying down stuff? Are they saying yes to only you? Are they leaving behind lesser lovers? Are they leaving behind secret sin? Are they leaving behind the familiar? Are they leaving behind are they prepared to pray, pay a price? Give a sacrifice that cost them something. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know them each and every day. You know them. You know them. You touch them. You touch them. You touch them. Now when you start praying with your mother, praying with the Lord, praying with the Lord. Now when you start praying with the Lord, and it's for your own salvation, and it's for your own healing, and it's for your own destiny. But the Lord, the Lord.
perdón. Aleluya, feliz tierra. Tengo los gustan. Aleluya. Aleluya. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we just have a little bit of praise for the Lord? Alleluia. Are we going to smile for the Lord? Alleluia. Alleluia for Jesus. The one who is the popular one that gives the medicine for the Lord for us. It is spread. Alleluia. The Lord has prayed. The Lord has seen us. He has been loved. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. 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 Alleluia. Ik wil eerst eens ook bij dank je aan mij, aan ons moeder, Pastor Jolien Ellison. Halleluja, dat toen ze zei ons gaan een vrouwenconferentie het, en ons gaan ons profetes Rihanna laat kom. Halleluja, om die spreker te wees van die conferentie. Zo wil ik ook van mij zei, baie dank je. Van Dynamic Dutch moeders, van elke vrouw, van ons verschillende bedienings. Wil ik vir u sê, baie, baie dankie. Halleluja. Dat u so lief is, vir ons as vrouwe van Douglas. Halleluja. Dat u ons is Rihanna laat kom met, om vir ons so kom bles. Halleluja. Blesse by the name of the Lord. Ek wil aan ons sisters van Koolsberg, baie, baie dankie sê. Dat u hulle so ver kom gereid het. Net om u so kom sê met die teenwoordigheid. Die was de siening vir ons, halleluja. En ek weet, man, die is een nieuwe verhouding. Halleluja, en ons weet, ons gaan weer mekaar sien. Halleluja, want ons is een in die koninkrijk van die Heere. Mag die Heere die sien, halleluja, daar die is in die werke, in die huis, in die ministries, halleluja. Mag die Heere die net in kries, prijs die naam van die Heere, weer eens, baie, baie dankie. Ons waardeer die, halleluja. Ons antipops, Ons Triana is een ma, ek wil vir jy sê, baie, baie dankie. Dat jy al dit, ek sien om Andrews ook nou hier so, halleluja. Ons Triana is een pa, baie, baie dankie. Denk jy hulle dier, as al dit vir ons ook, jy sacrifice, jy skerk sonda, wanneer jy weet, jy kinders is hier by ons. Daarom ek het vir jy sê, baie, baie dankie. Weet ons so belangrijk, dat familie mekaar moet ondersteun. Alhoewel ons nie sê alle kerke is nie, wat ons met mekaar sy ministry support. Halleluja. So ek sê vir u dankie. Halleluja vir Jesus.